This is an explanation of the hierarchy in British law, showing and explaining three important vowels taken in three separate offices of the law. The Queen's coronation oath, the politician's oath of allegiance, and the police constable's oath. We shall also explain where you come in this hierarchy and how none of it can happen without your involvement or consent. First, we shall start by looking at the police constable's oath. I do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that I will well and truly serve the Queen in the office of constable with fairness, integrity, diligence and impartiality upholding fundamental human rights and according equal respect to all people and that I will, to the best of my power, cause the peace to be kept and preserved and prevent all offences against people and property and that while I continue to hold the said office I will, to the best of my skill and knowledge, discharge all the duties thereof faithfully according to law. Wait, wait, they're not keeping the peace. I must just quickly discharge some peace with this hand grenade. No fly zone. Down. Every police constable must take this oath to assume the office he or she is about to hold. Are you working in accordance with the oath you took as a police officer? I've stopped this vehicle, I need to speak to you. They swear to the Crown that they will uphold the law, the common law of the land, regarding human beings. They do not swear to uphold commercial law corporate acts and statutes created in government regarding corporate legal persons. Any work carried out by police under commercial law is unlawful and a breaking of their oath. Two different types of law regarding two different types of people. Allow me to define the two different versions of a person. There is the human entity and being that is you and there is the legal fictitious corporate person created under commerce law which you've been led to think is you. The legal person, or straw man, is created around about a week after your birth. The first document defining who the person is, is the birth certificate. From then on, any document needing the birth certificate as a form of identification is entering into a contract with the commercial person not you, not the human entity. When you go to the DVLA, the corporate person receives a driving license. You receive nothing. When you open an account with a bank, your corporate person gains an account. You gain nothing. When you apply for a passport to travel, your corporate person receives a passport and you receive nothing. By the time you have applied for bank accounts and licences, your straw man has an identification stating that it has a name, a birthplace and a home address. It does not claim to be you. By holding on to, handing out and using the identification, you are claiming to be it, therefore agreeing to any crimes and history related to the fictitious corporate person of commerce law. Accepting to be the person is giving consent to commercial laws and once you have given consent you have entered into a commercial legal contract. So when the police carry out acts and statutes and hand out fines for corporations by commercial law, he is acting unlawfully, breaching the peace and breaking his oath. But if you stand under the unlawful commercial law he is policing, you have entered a contract as the legal person and can be found guilty. If you do not stand under and do not give consent, you are not assuming the office of the corporate person and only common law remains to affect you. You must let the police know that they are acting under unlawful policies and in breach of their oath. If they break their oath, they have broken their sworn promise to the Crown and theoretically should be removed from office.